All right, so I just got off work and I'm gonna head to the gym now. It takes about 15 to 20 minutes to drive there, so that's why I'm leaving a little early because my class is at 5.30. I just know it's gonna kill me, so I'm, I will check back in after the class. So I'm back from the gym, I had dinner, and now I kind of want a little bit of like a dessert. I don't want something like too much. So this is actually a chocolate bar that I got when I went down to North Carolina to visit Winston. So this one is dark chocolate. I also have another one. This one is milk chocolate cocoa crunch with sea salt. Um, but I wanted to try the dark chocolate one today. So I'm actually really tired. That workout was a lot. And like while I was working out, the instructor came over to me and she was like, your weights are not heavy enough and so she grabbed 15 pound dumbbells for me because i was using 10 pounds and like the reason why i use 10 and 12.5 is because i can carry 15 pounds but i get tired easily so i try to go like lower but the chocolate i love dark chocolate so this is right up my alley Hi guys, I just got home and I kind of wanted to do this very, very quick unboxing. I don't know if you guys remember or if you know about this, but Nicola Coughlin, who plays Penelope in Bridgerton, she did a collaboration with this jewelry brand called Rachel Jackson, I think. Yeah, and they're based in the UK. Um, and she did a collaboration for this necklace and all the proceeds go to a charity called Choose Love. And so I decided to buy the necklace because I thought it was really cute, but also because it goes to a good cause. So I wanted to do a quick unboxing for you because I just got the package today. This is what it looks like. There's Nicola. I honestly don't know why my camera. Hmm. I don't know why my camera's so froggy. I think I cleaned it though. All right, so this is what it looks like. And then, okay, so I got interrupted, but this is the card. And then on the back, it just says, this highly meaningful necklace is made from certified recycled silver and features a beautiful hand carved pink gemstone full of pink gemstone heart for love she is part of a limited edition run available this summer only and 100 percent of the profits will be donated to choose love and so i'll show you what the necklace looks like i think it's really cute and i've never had anything like this and so i'm really excited to wear it this is the little necklace and then on the back it's engraved with choose love which you can't really see because it's not focused but that's what the necklace looks like hi guys i realized that this might be the absolute worst angle and also the ac might be blowing in the mic but i just finished at the gym and i'm going to head over to tj maxx to just look around um because I feel like I need some new tops or like outfits for Montreal. I'm going to Canada with Tiffany and our sisters for a little vacation in a couple of weeks. And I don't know what exactly I'm wearing yet. And my sister was saying that I should wear some linen pants and some like jeans that I have, but I just, I don't have any like tops that I'm particularly excited to wear and so I want to go to TJ Maxx to see what they have. Some of the inspiration I've been kind of looking at is mostly like European style so a lot of their sweater tanks or like the tanks that close with little buttons in the front but you can still see like underneath. Um, the thing is I love the style I just don't know if it will work on me and so um, if I see them in the store, I'll definitely try them on for you and see like how that goes. Other than that, I just want to walk around because I feel like I'm always at home and I, you know, it's like summer and I really haven't been able to go to the beach at all. Not that I love the beach particularly, but um, it's just something you're supposed to do in the summer. Alright, so I just wanted to update you. I was going to vlog in the store, but there were just too many people and I ended up not finding any clothes, so I didn't even try anything on. But I did get something 
And the only thing that I got was this Glossier lip balm. It's in the scent Wild Fig. So it's, it's one of the scents that I've always wanted to try. And so because I saw it there, I was like, I have to get it. I'm gonna head home now and I feel like making a protein smoothie. So we are going to do that as well. Okay, everyone, I'm home now. I'm so sad because I know for a fact that I had a frozen banana somewhere in the freezer and now it's just missing so I have to use a regular banana but that's fine because all the other fruit is frozen so I'm hoping that the texture and the consistency of the protein shake protein smoothie isn't changed that much but essentially I put in a banana I just have this mixed fruit chunks, which is strawberries, peaches, mangoes, and pineapple. This will do. I think I'm just gonna finish. Usually I would also put in blueberries, but I'm not feeling blueberries today. And if you guys have seen my protein shakes before, this is the protein powder I use. Um, I used to use the Orgain one, the chocolate one, which I really, really liked and this one is vanilla i never use the full scoop like it always calls for one scoop i'm always like half or a little bit less than half just because i don't push myself to the extremes when i work out like i push myself enough but i'm not like the gym bros that need to be eating you know their weight and protein I also try to get my protein just by eating regular food. And then because I usually like the chocolate flavor, I just put a little bit of cacao powder to, to make it chocolate. Even though it doesn't really taste like chocolate that much, but it looks like it. And so sometimes I just try to trick myself. I've been drinking this lactose free milk. I'm gonna do half milk, half water. Here it is, let's give it a taste test. I think I added a little bit too much liquid because it's very liquidy and not very frozen anymore, but it's okay. It's actually pretty good, I like it. All right, I'm gonna sip on that and then um, head to the shower in a little bit. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm working from home. I have my headphones in because honestly, I wanted to use my AirPods, but they are um dead so i am just going to use these headphones i'm also working from home today and i'm just reviewing one of my patients labs and their creatinine level is jumping so it used to be like 1.4 and now it's 1.6 we've been watching her creatinine levels which if you didn't know it's a waste product. And so when your kidneys aren't functioning, the levels of creatinine will ultimately be higher in your body because your kidneys can't filter them out. And that's a way that we see your kidney function when you are on said medication or any type of like antibiotic that we're giving you. I think we need to decrease the dose. Um, she only has one week left, so I think it's okay. She's been on it for six weeks all right so i'm going to message the pharmacist and that's ultimately my job is just to figure out like when do we stop certain things when do we switch over certain things and i think this calls for a case in decreasing dosage because it's her levels have been continually getting higher okay i'm gonna walk you through this so one of the biggest things that we try to calculate if we want to see um if it's appropriate to decrease dosing is we'll calculate something called your creatinine clearance. Now that's telling you how well your body is clearing out certain things. And so this app, which I like to use called WebMD, sorry, it's called MD Calc. You just put in all of the demographic information if they're female or male, how old they are, their weight, which is likely gonna be on their EMR so i'll just put in all of that and then i'll put in the lab level which is the creatinine it will give me a readout of what their creatinine clearance is and so because it is less than 30 i think it's time to reduce the dose that we are giving this patient hi everyone i'm finishing up my work day i am also meeting up with a couple of friends from high school from tonight which is why i'm all done up and i have my makeup on and i also have the fan on because it's extremely hot in my room 
but I just I wanted to show you this before I forget so I'm gonna shut this off really quickly and try to do this for you before I start sweating like crazy I was doing my work and then my sister said I had a package so I came downstairs and I didn't order anything so I was actually really confused but apparently I got my first PR package so I I'm just gonna do a quick haul for you guys um it came from yes style from my understanding it didn't say like where it came from but i did some googling and i think i got this because i'm part of the yes style influencer program so if you guys want to buy anything from yes style definitely do use my commission code it will be linked down below you can get a discount and also they just sell a bunch of korean japanese chinese skincare and um as long as you buy everything and it totals up to a cost of I think like $50 you'll get free shipping if you don't then you just have to pay for shipping but guys just buy everything in bulk and get the free shipping so I'm gonna show you what I got in the PR package um this is basically everything okay so quick haul of everything it's from everything in this box is from the brand Mixoon. I've heard really good things about this brand. I've just never tried them before. So once I go through everything, I will start trying them and my sister and I will give you a review of everything we've tried. So this is Mixoon Bean Cleansing Oil. This is really nice. Um, I love cleansing oils, so I would definitely let you know how I what I think about this. They also gave me a sun cream. This is Centella 50 SPF. I love that. You guys know I have so many different sunscreens and I love trying new ones, especially Korean brands. So I'm excited about this one. They also gave me a Bifida Ferment Essence. I'm not really sure what this does, but I will do my research and let you guys know. And they also gave me some soybean milk pads. These I think will be really nice um, on a really hot day. So I will also use these as well um i also got a bean essence this is what my sister was telling me is really really popular so maybe i will give this a try i also got a centella cleansing foam a centella asiatic toner um this i'm kind of excited about because i love toners they also gave me a glacier water hyaluronic acid serum a galactomyces ferment essence oh that sounds really good i want to try that and then lastly they gave me a sundi centella asiatica essence a lot of essences this one's so cute it's got a little bear on it i'm going to finish up work my friend's picking me up in about like 40 minutes so i need to finish up work before i go but that was just like exciting and i wanted to show you guys because i've never received pr before and this is the first time so yeah i will definitely let you guys know what i think about all these products and i will talk to you guys soon